of every day, dude. That's the way to go. My neighbor uh, told me his fucking dad has cancer. Jesus, dude. Yeah, and our, our fucking Ian, dude. What happened to Ian? So I don't know if we, we can talk about it, but... You know, we had a passing in the Danny Mullen family. We don't have to talk about it too much. I don't no. know if it's cool, but... Yeah, my fucking neighbor, his dad's got cancer next door. I'm so afraid of my neighbors finding my channel and realizing how much of a scumbag I am. Dude, I'm sorry, gonna... that's my primary concern. What, would, would they even really understand it or watch past, you know, what, what video would they even, okay, they click on your channel. What video are they clicking? Um, that's racist oh, where I'm screaming shit. the N-word. And I have some neighbors of color that I'm very close with. I have great relationships with my neighbors. Yeah, you do. I talked to the one down the street about whorehouses. I talked to my buddy here right next door about camera work and shit. Mm -hmm. I just don't want him to see me roaming around with Danny Mullins free the slave it's shirt. Very, you, you which is why I turned it inside out. Yeah, I so it. I never step outside with it on accidentally. You really now. are such a... You're difficult not to crack, dude. If you were a woman, you'd be one of those women every now... Like every year I'd be like, it's another year. I have yet to figure you out, young lady. But listen... Why? What did I say that was well, difficult? Listen, well, listen. We went around, you know, I know this video isn't out there yet, but we pig called fat people, right? And Danny was perfectly fine yeah. to do this. Danny has ruined so many people's days. And I, on the other hand, try to alleviate the pain, tell him it's not a big deal. But, you know, that, that's why he's got, he's making the big bucks. And he's a, a true internet legend. And at, in his heart, where it really matters, he's a great guy. Very kind. Well, fat caring. people are fucking stupid. That's oh, God, stop it, dude. I'm trying to say you have a kind heart. Listen, Talk to me. He's like the Grinch. No character but, right now. You really think fat people are cool? No, but I okay. This is what fucked me up. I used to really talk a lot of shit about them. They honestly, there's a lot of problem. They they give a, a lot of the economical decline of the United States has been because of fat people. So there's another reason they're not like them. But listen, but a lot. Well, of let them, me say this: this is me, what they're they've been abused, dude. I didn't realize that a no. lot of them. Saw, yes, dude. Everybody says they've been abused. Yes, but no, but like my 600 pound life, dude. Like 90 percent of them had been abused, and they just use food. And I'm an overeater, dude, so I totally get it. Like, they use food as their drug, Danny. It's not a bad drug. You ever think about it? They just pound ice cream all day. People need to get a handle on themselves. And oh. I want to say, well, if, 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 that's true, She's right? right. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. I do. I agree. They should get their lives together. You know, like a Bill Maher fat shame people in the other day. And I, I totally agree, dude. I, I've agree, I totally agree on the fat thing. I'm not saying anything. But, I mean, it takes, it takes a certain kind of, you know, a gusto to be able to do that and to do, do the things what? you do. Oh, it'd be fat shame? Yeah. And let me rephrase this. I don't dislike fat people. I just think it's open season when it comes to making fun of fat people. You can, you know what? A lot of them probably want to get shamed a little bit. Then get shamed into getting jacked. Wouldn't that be a great thing? Well, they need a plastic surgery to remove you the fat shame skin. me all the time. Now, yes, but at the same time, you will small talk like old ladies all the time, hold doors open. Uh, you really care about your relationships with your neighbors so much so I've seen you in, in high, with high anxiety over the fact that you know they they almost saw us with a, me with a cross wearing the Roman guard that one time, but it, you're just it, it's like you you know you've had your years of of uh, of abusing your body and now you're like really taking care of it. It's like you're I don't know you're a man of mystery. You're all over the place and it's good. You're saying how am I comfortable? Pig squealing and a fat lady. Right. Telling the girl at BevMo that she needs to only drink light beer because she's a fat ass. Yes. And then how can I say please and thank you with a big smile to every bus boy exactly. who comes near my table, no matter how lowly or how Guatemalan. Or how, or how Guatemalan specifically. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm a different guy on camera. Yeah. Because on camera, I feel it is my duty mm -hmm. to take off the stopper or to remove it. That's between what's going on here and what comes out here. Yeah, you really. Because when you walk off. down the street, you're walking your dog, you're riding your skateboard, and a big fat ass comes waddling out of a Denny's. You think, oh, that guy's really fat. In my videos, it's my duty to walk up to that guy and be like, "Excuse me, sir, you're really fat. Why? Because I have to be the audience's." subconscious right or conscious mind you know what it's even more conscious well i can't pretend we're not all horrible people we all are you're right every fucking girl who has a bernie sanders profile picture on twitter who's going after donald trump and all of his family for their crimes against humanity that girl when she walks by a cookout and they're blasting 50 cent too loud she goes oh, black people oh, yeah. i know it and they won't admit you're it and they're overcompensating right. it, it, they're overcompensating right. with their attacks of other people yep 
we're in a we're in a we're in a place in in our world at least where it's more important to act like a good person than to actually be a good person or like pretend it's more important to put out that you're a good person on social media than actually be a good person i think so. like no matter what you've done i know that you're not racist I know that, like, like people might, the people that are uneducated will look at the stuff that you've done to be like, you know, he fat shames people, he's he's fat phobic, well, those he's are this, and then and then you know, like, I know you're not racist. You, you've definitely, <laughs> you definitely made out with a lot of black women, and I've seen it. I got blown by one. You I got blown that. by, by a black woman. Now yeah. I've made love, pure coitus, pure black coitus. Woman. Yes. Allow me a theory. Actually, I watched a documentary once on the Westboro Baptist Church. That the worst people, right? The worst people on the planet. Yeah. And one of those members is daughter. Oh God! She said that the reason her dad was a member of the church was it was a total ego trip. Mm-hmm. Because when you're a member of the Westboro Baptist Church, you get to say, "I've got it right." Everybody else on the entire planet is going to hell. Everything I do is correct. They're all doomed. They're all wrong. And when you're a hardcore social justice warrior, all of your flaws. You can bury them down because right. everybody else is a neo-Nazi, a oh, racist, yeah. a bigot, and you get to feel a part of something. It's just a way of flattering somebody's ego. You nailed it, man. I think social justice warriorship and Westboro Baptist Church membership are the same thing. You're absolutely fucking right, man. And it is shocking that we have to deal with it now, like right in front of us, and facts don't matter, and it's it's more important, you know, to to just pretend. I saw a girl post today that anybody who reshares the opinion of a black person who is <laughs> against the looting, so like Larry Elders is a local LA conservative black personality, somebody like that. If anybody shares him saying, don't break into a big five and take everything, she said the person who shares that is 10,000 times more racist. Oh my God. No, I didn't have my calculator or my logic flow chart. But that is exactly what you're talking about. Like, yeah. where? Like, what are you talking about? What are you bitch? talking about? That doesn't yeah. make any sense. That makes zero sense. No, I mean, I, you, nobody uh, said anything about you filming or anything during in, in Dallas. If you were out here, I'm pretty sure they would have. Nothing. The guy was really nervous again. I think he was worried that he was coming off bad, sounding right. worried about his jewelry supply. Yeah. He was too worried about himself looking bad to focus on me. I think, yeah, man. The only... But again, we were respectful. I was doing anarchy. I wasn't doing politics. Yeah. I was kicking yuppies out of a park. They it. probably liked that. And I also I had it. Terrence with me, my new black friend that I uh, made there. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. invincible. <laughs> we need a black crew member, huh? I think it's time. Well, we have Evan, Barbershop Evan, who we're going to talk to on the phone. What time yeah, is it right now, Austin? We're at an hour 20. What time is it? Oh, it's uh, 6.27. We can call Barbershop Evan up. This is perfect. What's his number? Also, you right, know, wait, can you can you do it now? How do we do it? We can pause right now because I got to piss anyway. You know who else I want to get back into the crew? The dude who was in the Fan Jerry raps video, who was mm-hmm. Fan Jerry's rap coach. Uh, I was yeah. talking to him yesterday. That guy was pretty talented. Yeah, I'm not talking about with hip hop. I'm just talking about the way that he understood we were making a lot of fun of right. Fan Jerry, and he would say things like, "You drink it fucking smeared off." Take a hit of this Henny yeah. right here in this brown. This is hip hop. Yeah, like he was it. a really good improviser. It's yeah, it's tough. It's tough to find people that go along with that. Sometimes they, they most people think that we're just really abusing guys. You know, we really, are. Well, yes, but we need no. somebody who can take part in our abuse. Exactly, you know? take part and, and add to it. Yes, and per se. 